shit like he's zig the heat the spot. First pay gig. Man, I uh, got a call from my boy, Tim House, um, and uh, a music icon back in the 70s and 80s, uh, Lonnie Simmons. Lonnie Simmons, he owned the uh, Total Experience nightclub where everybody that was anybody in R&B would go. Uh, he eventually started a Total Experience production company, and it eventually evolved into a Total Experience Records, uh, a straight distribution deal through Polygram. And at that time, there wasn't many black people that had a real record deal. They had production companies, but they never had distribution. And so with his success with the Gap Band and Yarboroughs and Preeples, and he had a string, a number one through four hits, and uh, you know, uh, right after disco, man, he was ruling the charts, that and the funk. And, uh, you know, um, he started up again and he wanted uh, me and my boy to run his studio. And Lonnie, Lonnie's a piece of work. Old guy, older guy, been in the game forever, you know, very eccentric. But, you know, even with all that, old gangster, let's, let's not get it twisted, old gangster, but a brilliant mind, man, a brilliant mind. And even with all that, he was like a real audiophile. He knew his ears were so sensitive and he knew that the sound and the texture of music and especially bass, if you go back and listen to those old Gap Band songs and the uh, Gap Band albums, like a Gap Band 3, Gap Band 4, that's when he really came on board. Listen to that audio and that bass. And he was really, really into that. And uh, the studio was one of the best studios back then in Los Angeles, Total Experience Studios. And so I would just sit and we took a liking and he really liked me. So he would just like give me game, tell me old stories, uh, tell me about the record business, how we started and just production and then eventually got a uh, got an album, I mean, got a label deal. And I would just listen, man. I was young, I listen. He tells me, do this, do this, be disciplined. Uh, you know, it's business. And uh, you know, that stuck with me for shit. Still to this day, I still take some of his notes and, and remember some of the things uh, he would tell me. Rest in peace, Lonnie Simmons.